All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as some of you guys might have seen in my last video, things didn't go so well in my first ever attempt at the new explosive chain battle event on Global. All right, now I mean the idea was to go in pretty much completely blind and just see, you know, what happens. And uh, yeah, it wasn't very good. But since then, I've talked to a lot more people. I've done a lot more research, and at this point in time, I feel like I have a very solid grasp on the different concepts related to the event, and uh, you know all the factors that contribute to scoring as high as possible based on the units you have available to you. Okay, so in this video, we have two primary goals. Number one, to set a new high score and uh, hit 1% overall, right? And number two, to hopefully help those of you out there who are still, you know, struggling a little bit, a little bit confused about how this event works, and help you guys uh, reach a new personal high score as well. Okay, so with all that said, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I want to highlight here is this battle info tab, which tells you the enemy, which you guys know is the super boo, but also the advantageous categories or effective categories and effective characters. So for this enemy, the effective categories are Majin Buu Saga, Fusion, and Super Saiyan 3. And the effective characters are Ultimate Gohan, Hercule, as well as Good Buu. So obviously when you're building a team, as far as choosing your attackers, your supporters, as well as your connectors, you want to bring as many of these units as you possibly can. And uh, if you guys don't have a lot of them, you also want to bring as many units from these effective categories as you possibly can. Of course, there are more factors than that as far as scoring high, but this is definitely a good start, all right? And uh, by the way, we do get different enemies from time to time, so this is only for the Super Boo. Once it changes to someone else, the categories and characters will also be different. So from there, I wanna take a look at this question mark here, click on battle and click on basic rules. So this page actually has a lot of really important information about the factors that contribute to a high score, right? So it breaks it down to the different sections here. So starting with the attacker you choose, the factors that affect your attacker as far as maximizing your score are number one, the value of their stats, HP, attack and defense. And number two, the value of their super attack level. So for that reason, for this enemy specifically, a lot of people are bringing either LR Hercule or EZA Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or one of the EZA Ultimate Gohans, mostly uh, the Int one. I've seen some people bring the Fizz one and the AGL one as well and uh, still doing a lot, a lot of damage, right? But I think the most popular ones right now that I've seen are LR Hercule or Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and it's because those guys have pretty good stats. So if you guys have one of those, definitely bring them as your attacker, and that should help you maximize uh, your score potential or damage potential in that department. Okay, so that's number one, that's the attacker. The next part, or the next portion, are the supporters and connectors. And the supporters, of course, are the teams you're choosing from your friends, and the connectors are your own units that you're linking to your supporting teams. And uh, essentially for this section here, you're also looking at the value of each character's HP, attack, and defense. The higher, the better. And also the number of identical categories, types, and link skills between the supporters and connectors. So just based on my experience, you essentially want to find super and extreme teams with, of course, as many advantageous characters as possible, right? But another thing, that you want to look for is as many of the same units as possible so for this fight specifically you're looking for as many ultimate gohans on the super team and for the extreme team as many boos as possible because what we can do then is link your own ultimate gohan to the super team and your own good boo to the extreme team or kid boo to the extreme team and uh, in that case you can share as many links with the supporting team as possible and get um, as big of a boost as possible. I know it sounds kind of confusing right now because I'm just talking about it, but once we get to the actual events, uh, things should probably make a little bit more sense. But uh, yeah, essentially you want to look for as many shared categories, links, and typings as possible between the supporting team 
and the connector that you choose. The last two sections here are pretty self-explanatory. We already talked about this. It says advantageous characters, including these on your team, increases the damage dealt on the enemy. And for characters who belong to the advantageous categories, including these to your team, increases the damage dealt to the enemy, right? And the other portion here, this is talking about what happens when you actually go into the event. And uh, what, what's going to happen is you're going to see some animations play out, and then you're going to get some options for uh, units to click on, right? And it's going to be four from the super team, four from the extreme team. And you have to choose three characters as quickly as possible that share as many categories, types, and links as possible. So let's say you see eight characters and three of them are Ultimate Gohans. You want to click those three as quickly as possible because, of course, they share a bunch of categories, they share a bunch of types, and a bunch of links. So you'll be able to do or get the biggest boost from this portion or this section as possible. And the uh, same thing if you get like three boos or three go tanks, you just want to choose characters that match each other in these three departments, right? And in total, you have 10 seconds to do this. And the faster you do it, the better your score. But if you, you know, have a hard time choosing and you use up five seconds, then the game is actually going to show you like it's actually going to highlight the characters that work well with each other. They can choose. But at that point, um, you're already kind of screwed as far as like setting a high score because you took too long, right? So I would definitely recommend to get familiar with the units you're bringing so you don't have to rely on the game to tell you which ones work with each other. And I think that's pretty much it as far as all the basics. Um, yeah, let's actually jump into a run here and see if we can set a new high score and maybe all this stuff that I said will make a little bit more sense. So let's click start. And I feel pretty good about our ability to hit top 1%, but we'll see what happens. Obviously, there's a lot of factors that play into it. Okay, so we have the tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as the attacker. I'm gonna keep him there. And uh, for the connectors, I mean, ideally, I would use the Int Ultimate Gohan and the STR Good Boo, but I already used both of them today for personal runs. So I'm gonna use the Fizz Ultimate Gohan and the Fizz Good Boo. As you can see, oh, one other thing I forgot to mention is the chain power bars. Okay, so the chain power bars, the blue one is for super, the red one is for extreme, and they fill up uh, based on how much synergy there is, based on the categories, links, and types um, You know there is between your supporting team and your connector. So as you can see, both of these bars are fully filled up, which means that there is a lot of good synergy between the supporters and the connectors for both extreme and super. So you guys want to do that as well. Okay, you want to max out both bars. And if you can't, then try to switch out either the supporting team or the connector team until you can get a full bar. But for some people, that's just not possible. But try your best, okay? And if you click details here, it'll tell you how many links or how many categories, types, as well as links that you're sharing between the connectors and the supporting team. And uh, same thing with the... Uh, extreme side as well, right? So we got 29, 3, and 33 here, and 25, 1, and 32 here for the super side. Not the best, I gotta admit, it could definitely be better, but uh, it's also pretty decent. So let's jump in here and get this run started and uh, see if we can set a new high score. Um, there's definitely still quite a bit of RNG involved, so this might not be a new you know, high score for me, but either way, I think it's going to be good. It should get the point across. And uh, let's see it. Okay, hold on. So we got Gohan's here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So I was a little bit slow, but not too slow. Uh, did I choose the best ones, actually? I feel like the other ends Gohan might have been better. I don't know. I was trying to go as fast as possible, so I might have made a mistake there. But let's see what we get. Come on, go tanks. Don't let me down. Ooh, okay, 87.6. Is that a new high score? It could be. It is a new high score. Are we top 1% though? Oh, yo, I think we just made it. I think we literally just made it. I think the cutoff was like 87.5 and we got 87.6. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Um, it wasn't the most impressive run because the teams that I got, like the supporter teams, we're not the best. I mean, if you guys can find better teams with like more rainbow ultimate Gohans and more rainbow boos, that would be best, right? But, um, you know, sometimes it's just RNG. You have to do multiple runs 
and try multiple teams or just wait for like the team to change up to actually get like the perfect um, run. So for example, let me show you guys actually. If you go over to ranking, you go to, wait, is it details? Wait, is it here or, wait, where are the, um, where's the info for like other people's runs? Oh, battle results, there we go. Okay, battle results. You can just see like other people's high scores. You can see a lot of people have over 100 million, which I'm still trying to get to, which we will get to if I get the perfect setup. And uh, let's just click on this guy with 115 million. So as you can see, this dude had a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as the attacker, which is what we used. But he also had a full team of Ultimate Gohans, most of them rainbowed. And uh, this team of Boos is also like really good too, mostly rainbowed. He used the STR Good Boo, which I think is actually better than the Fizz Boo. Maybe a little bit, but I, I think definitely better. And also STR Ultimate Gohan, I think is a better choice than the Fizz one that I used. But like I said, I used my uh, STR Gohan and my STR Good Boo today, so I couldn't use them for the video. I think if I had a... Actually, I think if I had those guys with the same teams that I used today, I probably would have scored higher. Maybe a little bit, maybe like 90 million or so. But either way, you know what, either way. I'm happy right now, because we're in the 1% again. Um, I will have to keep doing this to ensure I stay there, because I'm sure people are going to keep pushing right but anyways guys that is today's video um that is the guide that i promised hopefully it does help some people i wouldn't consider myself a pro at this okay i wouldn't consider myself like having mastered this mode far from it i'm still learning just like everybody else but i wanted to pass along whatever knowledge i had right now to people who are struggling who are having you know still confused at the moment and uh, hopefully this video helped you out at least a little bit but uh, that's all i gotta say guys that is today's video thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.